We got literally, literally low vitamin D in our system. So now we take the supplements to bring that level way up. You can't absorb it from mushrooms or from a supplement, okay? Even though they're high in vitamin D, because it's vitamin D2, not vitamin D3. So if it's sunny out, um, then you can use an umbrella or a cap. from Puerto Rico. Oh, uh, yeah, but there's plenty of sun in Puerto Rico. Well, yeah, but it's something in the diet in Puerto Rico yeah. that we don't absorb vitamin D from the sun. Everybody in Puerto Rico, is something that you have to study that the vitamin D in their bodies is really low. How so, we, oh, yeah. I, I don't understand what's going on with that. I don't know if this is a chemical or something in there. Oh, okay. But we got literally, literally low vitamin D in our system. So okay. now we take the supplements to bring that level way up. But what do you think about fresh air? You know a lot of people sit indoors, don't take time to be outside. Do you have any opinion on that? Like it's important, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's important. Yeah, yeah. Water <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, uh, once there's no water spraying, then that's good, yeah. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I think having spent time outdoors with the sun is very healthy. Yes. Like you need the... Vitamin D. Vitamin D. It's orange juice. Orange there juice is a lot so of healthy. pollution and yeah. a lot of outdoors. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's necessary to go outdoors, but it's yeah. also in the nature. In the better nature. than in yes. the middle of the city. Yeah, yeah. There are now like a lot of um, enfermedades, uh, sí, sí, diseases sí. like asthma. Pardon? Asthma. 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 Because oh, of the yeah, air and the pollution. Yeah, yeah. She's oh, a yeah. doctor. I oh, am asthmatic. Good. A lot of people spend a lot of their time indoors and they don't get outside into the fresh air. And the importance of getting fresh air is there's a few things, okay? Two things I'm going to talk about in this video is like if it's sunny, then you get vitamin D, okay? Um, and then the second thing is mold toxicity. Because maybe don't have, some people have a very bad, uh, very bad reaction to mold, but some people only have a little bit. But even if you only have a little bit, improve your health if you're outside. You feel better as well when you're outside. When you're stuck indoors, not getting any fresh air, you don't feel so good. Okay, and if it is sunny out, then of course that's an extra benefit. Once you don't get sunburned, use a natural sun cream preferably. And be in the shade at least. If you're not used to being in the sun, maybe only spend a couple of minutes. And especially go out in the evening, a couple of hours before the sun goes down. Wear a cap, you could even wear a long sleeve t-shirt or something just to protect yourself from getting burnt. A few other things I want to mention. So, um, when we're talking about fresh air and all, okay, what the minimum you should do, okay, is try to get out once every two hours, even for five minutes. Now, of course, if the air quality is good, like if you're in a very polluted area, okay, if there's high air pollution, then you probably don't want to um, go outside too much because of that. But then what you should do is move to somewhere else. And then if you work in an area that's high in air pollution, then just travel there further, travel further. So, um, if that's the case, right? Because you don't want to be too close to a city, okay? Or if there's a lot of cars going by your house, then you'll get a lot of the car fumes, brake fumes and all. So you'll be inhaling that, and that's not going to be good for your health. And then the mold toxicity, as I was talking about earlier. With the mold toxicity, what happens there is that can cause a lot of neurological problems. Then carbon dioxide, okay, from sitting indoors a lot. What you don't want is people get too much of it. So you have to open the window for that, or get outside more so for that. So you get outside in the fresh air. Because like we used to spend all day sitting indoors where some people do now. They don't get any fresh air and what you want to do is try to get, as I said, about five minutes of fresh air every two hours. Preferably more and get out straight early in the morning first thing because then that'll help you sleep better at night. If you go out straight away and you wake up within the first five minutes, right, if you have a balcony or if you have a garden, go out there straight away and just even sit down for about, and it's even better if you go on your um, bare feet, like if you don't wear runners, then it's even better. Because like, then you do a thing called earthing, okay? You feel more close to the soil and the ground and be more grounded.
basically. If you have jet lag, here's a good thing you can do. When you get out of the plane, then go somewhere where you put your feet on the ground and do earthing, no shoes, and that's gonna make you recover from the jet lag fast because you're connecting to the ground. So that's a good way. <clears throat> and then another thing is about the sun specifically, what I'm gonna say now is that, um, okay, why does our skin darken when you um, are in the sun? Why does it darken? Because your body is designed to absorb light and to absorb sun. So your body darkens and then you're able to absorb more of the sun. And then your thing is about the sun cream. As I said earlier, you're using natural sun cream. What you want to be doing is if you're using a sun cream, if you think you're going to get burnt, then use like a natural one. This one's got um, shea butter, um, coconut oil, zinc oxide, and then beeswax. Okay, it's 25. Um, the sun factor is 25, okay? Um, you can also, it, you can almost eat it, except for maybe the shea butter, so you could add tallow in, make your own stuff and make, add tallow in instead of shea butter. So coconut oil, beeswax, zinc, oxide, and shea butter. So, um, and that's very good to just rub on, um, some, and then you can use that. That's a good one instead, okay? And, um... As I said, we can synthesize vitamin D from the sun. So what happens is that like people say, oh, I'll just take a supplement of vitamin D. So I won't go out into the sun, I'll just take a supplement. But the supplements are usually D2, D2, not D3, okay? They're usually D2. We can't absorb it well, okay? Because you see, that's ergo calciferol, where what you want to do is where D3 itself is cholesterol, D3, okay? And that's from animal products. So you can't absorb it from mushrooms or from a supplement, okay? Even though they're high in vitamin D, because it's vitamin D2, not vitamin D3. Ergo calciferol, not cholesterol, which is in is from the sun or from animal foods, okay? Now, which animal foods are highest in vitamin D then? Okay, because it's not gonna be sunny all year round in certain countries, okay? Some countries, there it is sunny. But one of the f foods you can eat is try and get raw cod liver oil. That's quite high in vitamin D. It's in uh, high in vitamin A as well. And try to get the raw stuff, pasteurized stuff of cod liver oil always has like um, added vitamin A because some of the vitamin A is destroyed by the heating. Vitamin D is absolutely critical for our health and well-being. Every cell in the body has a receptor for vitamin D and it helps with like your immune health, uh, helps with your mental health, etc. And our bodies create vitamin D um through uv exposure okay from the sun so um and then we absorb it okay so sunshine is good for you uh, good for the eyes adrenals okay the adrenal glands as well don't wear the sunglasses because the sunlight is good for your eyes so as i said get outside do it as much as you can like use excuses to get outside like say oh i'll go for a walk and then people are in work all day and they don't go out at lunch they just sit and go out and do it okay just get out into nature okay Go for a walk, a business call, go for a walk. If you're talking to a friend, go for a walk um, and get the fresh air or sit down outside to take the call. Um, if you're any excuse reader, okay, um, just if you're waiting on something, okay, maybe, oh, I'll well, go outside for a few minutes or something, okay. Um, there's no excuse not to go outside. Like, don't say, oh, I'll hold the law or, oh, I'm a bit tired today, I'm not going to go out. Just, like, get out of the house. So, that's what I've been doing a lot more now recently, keeping the window open, trying to get out more. In the morning, it's best to do stuff when there's not a lot of cars on the road or etc. Or, and, like, that's not the only place, obviously, if you're living in a town, there's other stuff. And if you're living near, if there's power plants not too far in the distance, that's going to be another problem. So, just try to keep an eye on all that and then you'll be healthier and happy. So if it's sunny out, um, then you can use an umbrella or a cap if you don't want to get burnt, if you're too much. But um, don't avoid being outdoors. And then the vitamin D as well, because people say, oh, you just get it from a supplement, but you don't absorb it as well because it's ergo calciferol. That's what's in a supplement. It's D2, not D3, which you need to get from the sun. You get some vitamin D3 from cod liver if it's raw cod liver, but it's mainly, mainly you get from the sun. So even if you went on holiday somewhere for a while, just if you're living in a cold climate, then go on holidays to get vitamin D from the sun. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.
jumping in the purple rain. Diddle loop, diddle loop.